All right. Okay, okay, all right, okay. Man, how y'all doing today, man? Hope y'all doing good, staying well, staying healthy, all that great stuff. And we at, this is basically a part two. Not really part two, but kinda, because we're reacting to Petrovic again. So last video we reacted to Petrovic career highlights. Now we're going to get to know like how good was he actually? You know what I'm saying? There's a video for that. That's, that's literally what the title of the video is. A little tribute to Petrovic and what he brought to the game. Um, RIP, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, if you're also wondering what this beat is, I'm playing right now in the background. This is a beat made by Kingston Beats, man. All right, I'm gonna put all his stuff in the, in the description, his channel, go check him out. You know what I'm saying? He got some pretty fire beats. Uh, G Herbal type beats, Lil Dirk type beats, Rod Wave, Lil Baby and Rod Wave, Lil Baby, Lil Dirk and Rod, like, you know what I'm saying? Like he, you know, he mixing them up and all that stuff, so. Go check them out, man. Show some love. Yeah, man. Oh, um, listen. Without really, I, it's not, I, I don't think that's the same thing else to say. To be honest with you. Nothing else to say? Yeah. All right. Go get straight to the video. Yeah. Ready? All right. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's get it, man. He was one of the best of European oh, players ever. Some say that he is the best shooter to ever play. However, Drazen Petrovic is really mentioned in those conversations as he only played in four NBA seasons because he tragically passed away at the age of 28. A six foot six shooting guard is one of the biggest what ifs in basketball history. But at the same time, he's done enough that he will forever be considered a legend. Mm -hmm. Here is the Drazen Petrovic story. He started playing professionally at the age of 15. Crazy. Drazen Petrovic was born in Croatia in 1964. He first picked up a basketball because of his older brother, Alexander, who turned pro when Drazen was 10 and is currently the head coach of the Brazilian national team. That's dope. The whole Petrovic family caught the basketball bug, but it was Drazen who was most infected by it. The orange ball became everything to Drazen, who vowed to turn pro like his older brother. Young Drazen would wake up and shoot jumpers before school, mm. basically for every day of his life. Then he'd go to school, have practice with Shabenka, his hometown team, and then stay after practice to shoot some more. He would be in the Respect. gym at seven to eight each day as a youngster, and such incredible work ethic was recognized by Shabenka's head coaches, who promoted him to a senior squad at the age of 15. And even though he was the youngest, he showed tremendous leadership qualities, and his charisma, basketball intelligence, and work ethic rubbed off on his older teammates. In the 1982-83 season, when Drazen was 18, he was already the best player on the team and probably the best player in the Yugoslavian league, which was the best league in Europe at the time. Tough. Shabanka had the youngest team and with the smallest budget in the entire league, but they also had Drazen and the others didn't. Against all odds, the 18-year-old Petrovic led Shabanka to the finals. On his prom night, while the rest of his high school was partying, Petrovic played a deciding game in the finals of the Yugoslavian league. With Shabanka down by one point with two seconds remaining, Petrovic was fouled. Wow. He calmly hit both free throws, won the state championship, wow. and the legend about Drazen Petrovic was starting to form. Wow. The best player in Europe. After a year of mandatory service in the military, Petrovic signed with the biggest club in Croatia, Sibona. Sibona won every competition in his first year, including the league title, cup, and the Euroleague title, beating Real Madrid in the finals, with Petrovic mm. scoring 36 points. Next season, Drazen got even better, and the team repeated as Euroleague champions this time against Zalgiris, who were led by future Hall of Famer Arvidas Sabonis. In 1988, after averaging 25 points per game and winning eight trophies with Sabona, Petrovic moves to Spain to play for Real Madrid, the richest European club. Tough. Drazen was tormenting Real in the EuroLeague for years, and they wanted to sign him at hmm. costs. Petrovic signed the first million dollar contract in European basketball history, but it paid off for Real, even though he spent only one year in Spain's capital. Wow. Drazen won the Spanish Cup for Real, beating Barcelona in the finals and winning the finals MVP. Respect. Drazen's 42 points in the And I'm in a winner. No cap. That still stands. Petrovic also led the club to victory in the second tier in European Cup final against Caserta, scoring an unbelievable 62 That's points tough. in the final. That's tough. After averaging 29 points per game for real, Petrovic was looking for new challenges. By the age of 24, he won on every level in Europe, and his crazy competitive drive signaled it was time to leave. Wow. He left money on the table and bought out a part of his contract to join the Portland Trailblazers, who picked him with the 60th overall pick in 1996. Oh, the last pick? Starting from the bottom in the NBA. 
Started from the bottom, now we're here. Yeah. 1989 was similar to the scene of Eddie Murphy's arrival in the 1988 hit movie, Coming to America. Mm -hmm. Just like Prince Hakeem in the movie, he was royalty back home and was widely recognized as the best basketball player in Europe. But once he wow. came to America, Child coming to America, man. That's a funny movie. No cap. To become part of the rotation, let alone a starter or having a leading role on the team. Petrovic was one of the four European players who came to the NBA in 1989, which was the first time in league history that non-American players started playing in the NBA without prior college experience. The Europeans were considered as lesser players at the time, and people were skeptical when they got drafted, even though they dominated the EuroLeague for years. Mm. So when he came to Portland, Petrovic was deeply surprised that he got relegated from a superstar to the end of the bench. He played just 12 minutes that. on average on a Blazers team that got to the NBA Finals in 1990. Even though he shot 46% from three as a rookie, the third best percentage in the entire That's league. That's crazy. Trade to the Nets. As always, Drazen worked tirelessly in the offseason, mostly to improve his body. In Europe, basketball players never lifted weights in the 80s, which was Petrovic's only deficiency when he came to the States. I see. In Portland, I played against Clyde Drexler in practice a lot. I couldn't handle it. I would score on him once or twice, and he'd give me 20. I wondered what Damn. I was doing here and if I made a mistake leaving Europe. And then I realized, without physical strength, you are nobody and nothing. That's true. Drexler and Petrovic became great friends, and Clyde was one of the first people to advise Petrovic to leave Portland once they added another shooting guard. Oh, wow. Age. If Rick wow. Edelman and the Blazers realized sooner what kind of player Charles Drexler, that's, that's real. They would have won a championship against Jordan and the Bulls in 1992. Mm. They did. Petrovic played even less in his second season and requested a trade after 18 games. He moved to New Jersey and he immediately proved that he could compete with the Americans. In about 20 minutes of playing time, the Croatian guard averaged 12.6 points. So that's probably, you know what I'm saying, best for him to trade. No cap. But the best was yet to come. First, the European star in the NBA. In his first full season with the Nets, Petrovic blossomed. He bulked up, learned the NBA game, and his confidence could never waver anymore. He knew that he belonged and that he could drop 20 on anybody. Mm. Petro, as they called him, became a starter in the 1991-92 season, and his numbers skyrocketed. He led the team in scoring with 20.6 points per game on phenomenal 51% shooting and 44% from three, the second best mark in the league. Dryzen and Derek Coleman pushed New Jersey to their first playoff berth in six years. The Nets lost to Cleveland in the first round, but it was hardly Petrovic's fault. That's he it. again led the Nets in scoring with 24.3 points per game and 54% shooting from the field. After the season, Dryzen led Croatia to their first Olympics as an independent country. The Croats had a good team with three future Hall of Famers in Dino Raja, Tony Kukoc, and Dryzen. And it's no surprise they got to the finals against the Dream That's Team. That's crazy. Dryzen's coach with the Nets, Chuck Daly, shout out Tony Kukoc. The team. And here's what he said. Of all the world's players, Petro was the only one who wanted to go at us without holding back. He really fought. He was not afraid, and he wanted to beat us. Good all NBA season with the Nets and a tragic trip to Germany. After the silver medal at the Olympics, Petrovic had the best season of his career. He wasn't a novice anymore. Imagine Coco and Petrovic playing the same team, though. That kind of crazy. Petro no averaged 22.3 points that season, which was the 11th best scoring average in the entire league. He was also among the league leaders in efficiency, with 52% shooting from the floor, 45% from three, and 87% from the free throw line. As one of the NBA's top scorers, Petro was supposed to be the first European All-Star, but he was unfairly denied that opportunity. However, he was just too good to ignore and got selected to All-NBA 13. Only Jordan, Stockton, Dumars, and Mark Price got more votes than Petrovic. Mm. And let's mention that Drexler. We got a little buffer. Hold up, hold up. We buffering a little bit. We good, we good, we good. We we, we, we buffering a little bit too long, though. Hold on, now, what, what's, the, what's, what's the word? Wait a minute now. Hold up now. What's going on now, now? Seven fifteen. What's what 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 word? We're still buffering. Hold up, y'all. All right, we good. Reggie Miller and Mitch Richmond got Mitch left Richmond. out, which tells you how hard it was to get selected. The Nets had another winning season, but they once again lost in the first round to the Cavaliers, this time in five games. After the NBA season, Drazen flew home to play in the European qualifiers with Croatia, which would, unfortunately, happen to be the last basketball games he ever played. Petrovic hey, hey. could have easily skipped those qualifiers because he had a long NBA season and Croatia had already secured seating for the championship, but he wanted to play and lead by example. After he dropped 30 against Slovenia, 
Mexico. A qualifying tournament in Germany. His teammates were boarding a plane to return home, but Dryson wasn't there. Petrovic didn't want to wait for the commercial flight and had decided to drive to Croatia with his girlfriend. Sadly, Man. for his family, friends, and basketball fans worldwide, the Volkswagen Golf with Petrovic sleeping on a passenger seat had crashed into a truck on the German motorway. And Drazen Petrovic died on the spot at the age of 28. Legacy. Jordan's mentality, Kobe's mentality. Man, no. shooting. When he was asked about playing one on one with Jordan, who would win that game, Drazen Petrovic said without hesitation, it depends on who would have the ball first. If I had it first, I believe I would win. Now, I don't believe Drazen could actually beat Jordan one on one, but it was glaringly obvious that he believes it 100% and that he has the ultimate confidence in his shot and his ability. That's Jordan respect. confirmed this as well. It was a thrill to play against Drazen. Every time we competed, he played aggressively. He wasn't nervous and he came at me as hard as I came at him. Just like Jordan or Kobe, Drazen was a leader, a walking bucket. That's what any competitor wants, you know what I'm saying? Each and every day in practice, he would be the first guy to come and the last guy to leave the gym. Nobody put more pressure on him or had higher expectations for him than Petrovic himself, who had mm. a maniacal work ethic, very similar to Kobe Bryant. Six or seven in the morning, it doesn't matter. There's cleaning ladies and I. They would do their work, I would do mine and make 500 shots. I never missed a morning workout. Drazen. With 43.7 behind the arc, Petrovic is fourth on the NBA all-time list for wow. the percentage, about half a percent better than Steph Curry, who wow. is currently in sixth place. And if you ask Reggie Miller, he'll say that Drazen Petrovic is the best shooter ever. When LeBron got asked who's the best European player ever, first he said Dirk, and then he corrected himself and said Petrovic. Whether you agree with mm. LeBron and Reggie or not, Drazen Petrovic was without a doubt a top five or top ten shooter who ever played, and top five a European player ever. He paved the way for the Tony Parkers, Nowitzkis, and Ginobili's of the world who all had an easier path because of Drazen, who came to the NBA first and proved that a European players could play. Hey. And when he could embarrass Hakeem Olajuwon like this. There ain't no Luka Doncic going stupid right now, if I'm saying Luka Doncic, you know what I'm saying? He, uh, hey, that man hooping for real. Drazen, a basketball Mozart. Respect. Respect. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Petrovic, man, RIP, bro. Man, bro. I learned a lot in this one. I learned a lot. That's tough, man. He won. He won. A, he won a championship on his prom night. That's tough, though. Hey, that's tough, man. Y'all go have your fun. Let me go and get this championship right quick, man. You know what I'm saying? That's tough, bro. That's tough, man. Hope y'all enjoyed, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. If you're new, so it's a beat. And that's gonna do it for this video, man. Hope y'all stay well. Say healthy. Say blessed. Love you very much, man. Peace. I'm out. Woo. Got you.